Treatment of agitation is one of the very active areas in Alzheimer's disease research now. This is an urgent unmet need that affects the quality of life of patients and the quality of life of caregivers. Uh, there's a lot of work in this area using the new IPA definition of agitation, been able to, to define trial populations better and therefore to move clinical trials ahead uh, in an accelerated way. Drugs that are being tested uh, in, include uh, brexpiprazole, uh, cannabinoids, uh, uh, AVP786, which is a combination of dextromethorphan and quinidine, uh, the AXO5 combination, which is a combination of dextromethorphan and, and uh, Welbutrin. Uh, there is a, a study of escitalopram in agitation uh, and several others. So this field has really opened up in terms of looking at new mechanisms and new ways of treating uh, agitation in Alzheimer's disease. Psychosis in Alzheimer's disease has been a difficult problem to control. Uh, and there are no drugs approved for the treatment of psychosis in Alzheimer's disease. There's a very interesting trial uh, with pimavanserin for the treatment of dementia-related psychosis. I find this particularly interesting because there are several types of dementia included in the trial, including Alzheimer's disease, dementia with Lewy bodies, frontotemporal dementia, and, and vascular dementia. Uh, so this is widening uh, the spectrum of dementias included in a single trial uh, that takes the assumption uh, that a drug is acting on a final common pathway across different disease types. And I think that's a very interesting hypothesis. In addition, this trial is interesting to me because uh, it's, a it's a randomized withdrawal trial. Uh, so patients come in with uh, identified psychosis and everyone gets treatments. That's so important for caregivers. Everyone gets treatment. Then the responders are randomly withdrawn from treatment after a three-month treatment period. And we know that we want to get patients back off of drug as soon as we can. So that's also consistent with, with uh, best practices. And then we see whether there's more relapse of psychosis in the group that is taken off of the drug compared to the group that continues on the drug. So it's a really great design that, again, I think is patient-friendly, and we're looking for more patient-centric drug development mechanisms uh, as a field, uh, because our patients are our allies in drug development, and we need to make sure that we're putting their interests first.